It's a big week. Big week. I'm still, we've lost two in a row, but I'm really excited about our team. Guys are working hard. The energy's good. Obviously, we're disappointed that the last two on the road have not gone our way, but our guys are practicing hard. The spirit's good. The energy's good. And we're excited about these two games this week. So hopefully we can play great here here this week. Did Chris come out of that okay? You know, he got need in the back in the second half of that game. He's fine. Okay. Yeah, he practiced incredibly hard yesterday, and he is full speed, ready to go. Yeah. It seemed like maybe the last two games you've been scaling back on the backcourt traps a little bit. Have you, has that been an intentional thing? Has that just been kind of the way the game's played out? Or how kind of that's good. No, it's kind of the way the things have played out a little bit, but we still want to press a good bit, trap a good bit in the backcourt. Um, so I think you'll see more of that this week. Because that was real key early in Pac-12 to, to what you were succeeding with. It was. We, we just backed out of it a little bit for some various reasons, but we still did it some, but maybe didn't do it quite as much the last two games. Um, how many plays would you say you call on offense? In a, in a typical game? Yeah. Well, it depends. It depends. We've seen a lot of when we played Oregon State and when we played USC, we were playing a lot of zone. Mm -hmm. And so when you're playing a lot of zone, we've got some different wrinkles against the zone. But obviously, when you're playing a team that plays a lot of zone, you're not going to call a lot of stuff. If it's a team that plays all man to man, then certainly you're going to make some calls and call some different things. But uh, we've tried to not call a lot of things. But again, if we see a lot of man to man, yeah, we'll call a good number of sets. If we see zone, we won't call a lot of things because we're just, we've got them in a, a structured set, but they're just kind of playing and they're playing out of that. And you're not going to call a lot of sets against a zone. Is the Pac-12 going more zone as a team? It's gone a lot like of zone. It's gone, it's gone a, a lot of zone. A lot, obviously, Washington plays all zone, but a lot, there's, the, the percentages have dramatically gone up in terms of teams playing a lot of zone. When you, when you look at your offense, what does it need to be more efficient? Whew. How long do I have to answer that? Uh, I think we've got to pass it better. We've got to catch it better. We've got to turn it over less. I was just meeting with a player in film, and we were talking about our offense. We, one thing to score more points, we have to shoot free throws better. One thing to score more points, we have to turn it over less. One thing to score more points, we're taking some contested threes. So that's been a problem. We need to get the ball into the paint more, not necessarily to pound it into the paint to score, but just get your offense triggered by going into the paint and kind of playing from there. So I think there's four or five things. If I could just tell you one, uh, the one thing I would tell you, we have to turn it over less, which that encompasses a lot of different things. But we can't turn the ball over 20 times on the road and expect to win. Just, you just can't do it. Chris Smith had a nice start moving in the starting line the last couple of games. He struggled a little bit. Uh, what, what are you seeing there with him? I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. I think he's versatile. I think he's athletic. I think he can play multiple positions. Um, don't know if he'll start or not start in this upcoming game. And I think he's really more of a perimeter player than he is an inside guy. We've had him some at the four and some at the, on the perimeter. Um, I think he's more comfortable on the perimeter. So you, we may see him there a little bit more in the upcoming games. Who would be kind of the alternative there? Would you go back to Cody or? or Not sure. We're going to see how practice goes the next couple of days. But could very well be Chris. If it wasn't Chris, it would probably be Jalen Hill or Cody Riley. Yeah. Another guy who kind of got off to a good start in Pac-12 was David Singleton. Uh, his playing time has gone down the last couple of games. Is there, was there a reason? Is that the flow of the game? That kind of flow thing? of the game. I'm a huge fan of David's. He's the best shooter on our team uh, without question. Uh, that's been something we've talked about all year, trying to get him more shots. Um, but still, still a big fan. I mean, he's still playing a lot of minutes. They have maybe like you say, dipped a little bit over the last couple of games. But he's a guy that's very much on our mind. We love him as a player. He's a phenomenal young guy. And I think he'll play a good number of minutes in the next two games. Arizona State obviously had a strong non-conference season. 
and they've kind of carried it over. What, what have you seen out of them that makes them so good? Pool. I tell you, their game against Oregon. I got home out on Saturday and watched their Oregon game, and they are really talented. So that the thing that really jumped out at me, they've got really good players. And Bobby does a great job coaching their team, but then they're incredibly athletic. So it's up and down, and they're all over the place, and they can cover, cover ground at both ends. And um, just very athletic, very talented, can play fast, can make shots. And uh, it'll be a hard game. I mean, they're a good team, good team. Moses has had some really good moments this year. I think he only had five shots against USC. What's kind of the next step for him in his game progression? Well, the, the SC game wasn't his best moment, nor was it any, any of our best moment. But Moses is a heck of a player, and he loves to play, and he loves to learn. And if you watched him in practice every day, he likes practice just as much as the game. So he's fun to coach because you can get on him. You can demand a lot out of him. I mean, he's just a willing student of the game. He loves to watch tape. And so he's just getting better and better. But he's still young. I mean, he's just he's still young. He's a freshman. And, uh, but he's getting better and better, I think, as the games go on again. These, the Southern Cal game maybe wasn't one of his best games. But uh, I'll be really surprised if he doesn't play really well at home this week.